What's up, everybody? This is Antonio hitting you episode 46 of the monthly dividend challenge, where our goal is to come back at the end of every month and see how much we collected in dividends or our dividend growth portfolio generating dividends for that month. Uh, so we are actually at the beginning of October. So we're going to be finding out how much the portfolio generated in dividends for the month of September. That is the third month of the quarter, which typically in my portfolio is the biggest dividend paying month. Uh, but you'll see here that we do have a couple scripts. Uh, you'll see that typically on average, we're projected to make about $360.26 monthly. Uh, this is from this past Sunday with all the purchases that I did make. So we did go up about $3. But uh, anyways, uh, if you do want to follow uh, that, that along, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe with that bell notification i do upload these type of videos on uh, sundays with the portfolio update show you guys what i purchased and what i'm doing with the portfolio it's definitely exciting we're eventually going to get this to minimum wage on um, if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week uh, but uh, if you guys see here is that uh, we're actually going to be working on September. Uh, so this is going to be the last month for this quarter, which is going to be very exciting. Then we'll have three more months uh, for the last quarter of 2023 to see how much in total we've made. Uh, so if you guys are interested, go ahead and drop your guesses for what you think we'll make for the month of October. It definitely would be exciting. We'll come back at the beginning of November, see who guessed it the closest. By the end of the video, I'll show you guys who actually guessed it the closest for the month of September. There were actually two people that were very, very close on that. And if we go here, guys, uh, you'll see that uh, on the annual dividend, uh, we did actually, uh, you know, we're so far at $2,168.67, which is roughly a little bit uh, close to the total amount of 12 months of uh, 2020, which is very exciting to see. Uh, and we still have about what four more months that we haven't added this so the snowball is growing and growing as well one of the better things you can kind of actually see this is in the quarterly dividends uh you'll see that uh, this staircase continues to get bigger and bigger as time goes on eventually we're going to be generating a lot of cash flow that uh, we'll be able to live off of this uh, you'll see that last quarter we broke the one thousand dollar mark on the a quarter which is very exciting to see in a couple more months or i guess in a couple yeah a couple more quarters we should see more than a thousand dollars which is very exciting to see uh we're gonna actually be wrapping up q3 of 2023 by the end of this video which will be exciting we'll see if we surpassed one thousand six dollars and 81 cents because we continue to dollar cost average into the portfolio no matter what if i show you guys here the options premium for the month of september we actually were in the negative so we did lose money there but uh, technically we did go up in strike price for our covered cost so it's almost a win as well if our shares were to get taken away at that strike price but anyways we did actually lose 742 dollars 94 cents for this past month uh, and then if we look at the options return so far we're still at 2.78 percent if i show you here just the options income and what we made uh, you'll see that uh, this was actually the trades we placed almost weekly so on the first week we made zero dollars uh, in options the following week on the second week we did lose money there but then the last two weeks we made a couple crumbs which uh, hopefully uh, you know took down some of this negative here which came out to of course the $742.94 but in total if we add up all the past couple months uh, we are still in the positive by $3,247.88 uh, we're still a little bit lower than uh, last year which last year we made $3,544.51 in options and then um if I show you here, guys, again, go ahead and drop your guesses for what you think we'll be making for the month of October. Just a hint here is that uh, for October is the first month of the quarter. So uh, last, um, what was it, last uh, quarter, we did make uh, $262.47, which was the first month of this past quarter. Uh, and then if I show you guys here on the 
dividend payout uh, you can kind of see uh, what we actually are coming up with dividends so we do have Altria and JP Morgan uh, which should be paying us for the month of October uh, we did get dividend raises on these guys for doing absolutely nothing which is very very awesome I do also have scripts for this uh, information that uh, uh, is retrieved uh, let me show you guys here the holdings kind of I know you guys were interested in this uh, but you guys can kind of see the total positions that we do have in the portfolio uh, you'll see some of these are covered calls so you can just ignore those but uh, you can kind of see Altria how many shares we have and then uh, JP Morgan as well and uh, so on so on but uh, anyways let's go ahead and uh, actually jump over to uh, Schwab so we can see how much we collected in dividends so I will see you guys over there all right guys so we're at the Schwab account on the history you'll see I have it to start filtering out uh, September 1st 2023 all the way till October 3rd 2023 I do have this green button, it's called Calculate Dividends. I do need to make a dividend or I guess a video on or tutorial on how to add this to your account if you're on Schwab. But uh, we do have it to actually filter out only dividends here. Uh, so they should only show us that. And uh, if we scroll down to the very bottom, I can kind of show you guys what we collected in the month of September. So on the 1st of September, we did get actually a Visa dividend payment of $12.73. It's really cool because I remember when I was getting a couple cents from Visa. Now we're in the $10, almost $12 range. I can't wait till we hit the $20 and then just continues to compound guys. And then uh, you'll see here as well for uh, September 8th, we did get Costco. So we got a $25 and uh, 37 cents dividend payment from Costco. I also remember this one being very, very tiny at the beginning uh, when, I, my first, uh, when I first started investing and it's just been growing. As you guys can see, these drips do help out over time and they do compound slowly but surely. Uh, and then on the 14th of uh, September, we did get a dividend from Microsoft, which was $74.19. Uh, so again, as well, this one was a very tiny payment uh, when I first started. And it's very cool to see this. I can't wait to see this to 100. But you'll see that this dripped uh, in about 0.22 shares, which is very cool to see. The other one we got here on the 15th, this is actually a cash dividend, which the script will pick up and I will actually have to subtract that. But this is from the SNSXX, uh, you, the U.S. Treasury Money uh, Investor Mutual Fund that I have majority of my uh, cash invested in. Uh, trying to earn some interest until I do get assigned uh, shares of SCHD. Uh, but you'll see we did collect or they paid us uh, $72.91. I actually used this fund uh, to or I used this interest payment to purchase more SCHD so typically every month they do pay out on the 15th of uh you know of every month and uh, I use that income to purchase another share of SCHD it's a great way to just accumulate more shares and that's what I'm doing that's my goal and my plan on the 22nd though uh, we did get a uh, waste management's dividend of six dollars and 13 cents very very small payment uh, but i can't wait to get it to ten dollars and then you know just going to compound uh, going forward uh, with time on my side uh, that same exact day i also got a lockheed martin dividend payment of 97 dollars and 18 cents very very cool to see and then guys the biggest one of all on the 25th we did get an SCHD dividend payment which was a whopping $456.87 how cool is that guys passive income at its best and uh, I'm going to show you guys how much it dripped so uh, you'll see Lockheed Martin did drip 0.23 shares uh, and then uh, waste management dripped 0.03 shares and then guys SCHD dripped a whopping 6.44 shares of uh, SCHD at uh, around $70.88 uh, reinvesting that dividend meaning that uh, if I actually pull up a calculator which I, I find it's so cool to see uh, let me pull it up and then I can show you so SCHD is actually paying about or the, this past quarter they paid about 65 cents uh, per share so that means that uh, the six dollars and 44 cents uh, I mean six 
2.44 shares. Uh, if we multiply that times 65 cents, that means that every single quarter I am going to going forward, I will be earning roughly about $4 and 18 or 19 cents more. If of course, if they pay out 65 cents, if they pay out more, I'll be earning even more. If they pay out slightly less then I'll earn, earn slightly less, but uh, imagine an additional four dollars every single quarter this is going to compound very very nicely if i multiply this times four because that's a year that means that we're earning roughly about almost 17 dollars annually uh additionally by this drip from shd i can't imagine this compounding effect in a couple of years uh, but anyways you'll see here on the 28th uh, we did get an nvidia uh, dividend payment of uh two pennies guys very very huge dividend payment from nvidia uh, but uh, you'll see here on the 29th uh, you see that we did get a union pacific uh, dividend which was $16.04 uh, you'll see that uh, it also did reinvest back into uh, the about uh you know it dripped about 0 0.07 uh shares i guess nvidia's dividend payment was so tiny that it didn't even drip back uh but anyways guys this is all the dividends we collected for the month of uh, september very very cool month i uh, definitely love the passive income side of things there and uh, i can't wait a couple years where my future self is thanking me the amount that we're generating in cash flow uh, but uh, let's go ahead and see how much we made in total uh, for dividends here. So let's go ahead and click calculate. This will add up all the dividends for us. Uh, so we made a total of $761.44. Of course, I do have to actually subtract uh, the SNSXX uh, mutual fund uh, payment. I could add it, but I don't want to really add that until I do get assigned and purchase actual equities. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and subtract that. So I'm going to pull up the calculator and uh, we can try to uh, go ahead and get that out for us so uh, if I do have it here you'll see that uh, I'm gonna scroll down we'll see that uh, the dividend payment uh, will total we collected was $761.44 we're just gonna subtract the $72.91 because I don't want to include that in my payments uh, so $72.91 uh, let me know if you guys think I should include it. Uh, I just want to go ahead and just include only dividend payments there. But uh, total we collected for the uh, month was $688.53. So uh, let's go ahead and jump back into the Google Sheets and we can add this to uh, you know our spreadsheet and see uh, the projections go up or the dividend amount. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so we are here on the dashboard. I have September. Let's go ahead and add up the total amount we made for the month of September. So we made a total of $688.53. Of course, this would have been higher by about, uh, what, almost $73. But we're going to just go with the 688. So let's go ahead and see this. Uh, so in total, guys, you'll see that uh, the annual dividends now are at $2,857.20, surpassing all of 2020's dividend annual payout. That's in 12 months. We did that in nine months, which is very cool to see. And imagine a couple years from now when we are actually generating this, which actually one of the things I didn't want to point out, remember 2019 in the 12 months that I started investing, we made a total of $779.62. I'm already making that in three months. Uh, as you guys can kind of see over here on the quarterly, that means that in 2023 Q3, I made a total of $1,031.04 in the last three months of my, uh, you know, in my dividend portfolio. That means that I'm already making more than what I was making in 12 months uh, of 2019. So you guys can kind of see that compounding and imagine 10, 20 years from now, how much we're going to be making and uh, as well as also tax advantage because a lot of these dividends do become qualified dividends. But uh, yeah, guys. Uh, that's what we made uh, again let me know what you guys think we'll be making for the month of october we'll come back and uh, check it out uh, see who guessed it the closest and uh you know uh, of course 
for the first month of last quarter we did make 262 dollars and 47 cents and uh you know you guys think we'll be making a little bit less right around the same a lot more and then if i show you guys of course the holdings uh this is the holdings of the positions i currently have in the portfolio with the total number of shares and then of course here on the dividend payout we should be getting altria paying out on the 10th of october which we did also get a dividend raise there and then on jp morgan we uh, will be getting on the 31st of october which we also got a dividend raise but uh yeah this is actually all i have for you guys in this update very very cool uh quarter ending uh 1031 dollars in the past three months gotta love that growth but uh, actually the closest people that guessed it or subscribers that guessed it for the month of September, guys, it's a very, very close one. So I'm going to go ahead and put both. But uh, first one was actually uh, Trailblazers uh, 222 uh, username. And then uh, he actually guessed or he, he or she guessed uh, $690 and uh yeah that was very very close to the total amount of 688 dollars and then uh my buddy nort torres with a guess of 685 dollars also very very close to that guess and uh yeah let me know what you guys think we'll be making for the month of october definitely it's gonna be fun we're gonna check back in november and see if you guys guessed it let's see if uh the two winners for this month if they can make it two in a row but uh, don't forget to subscribe with the notification, guys. Help me reach that 20,000 subscriber mark. Definitely would appreciate it. It's one of my goals for the month of 2023 as well. If you wouldn't mind dropping a big thumbs up on the video. It goes a long way. costs you nothing. Definitely appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.